welcome back to What Are Tea Nibs with General Disturbance. This is a Rhyme Metal Scorpion, and it's located on the south spawn of Mines under the command of Giddy Liddy, and alongside her is another Scorpion G, and that one's under the command of Chosen Dark, and they're both in Reborn. Or at least they both were at the time this video was made, <laughs> or was um, played. Well, Scorpion. It's a tier 8 German uh, turreted tank destroyer, uh, but it's armed with a huge 128mm Kanonen, which actually is an arty gun, and it's mounted on top of the hull of a Panther tank. 490 Alpha, as you can see there, penetrating 246mm of armor with standard ammo going up to 311 with a PCR. It's got a long reload though, 10.98 seconds. Well, longish, because that's about uh, what you'd expect from something in the 120 millimeter caliber range. Now, the main thing about the Scorpion is though that it does have a bit of a problem with turret traverse, which means if a light tank can get close to it and run rings around it, then he can circle jerk them. Oh, that was a good shot right through the gap, but unfortunately it didn't connect with the enemy. And both Chosen Dark and Giddy Liddy have chosen to take different sides of this rock. Now the problem with firing from here is that uh, if the enemy did get on top of the hill, then they probably would be able to spot them every time they fired. And that would draw arty fire as well, and there is an enemy arty, it's a Lorraine 15550. And Giddy Liddy's chosen to go over to this side. There's more chance that she might get shots on some of the enemy that are appearing at that gate. The gate between the tower and the castle. Or well, it's a pass, but I th I'd call that a gate actually. Looks to me like a gate. An A44 and an E75. She might get a shot on that E75. He's coming up. Here we go. Yes, lovely, and a high roll at that, 539 hit points, but she was spotted, so she has to pull back. Enemy RT could be dialing in on her right this second, so uh, being back here by this rock, she's safe now because she's unspotted. Now, A44, any chance of a shot? Not really, he's behind that tower at the moment. But he's low on hit points, so one shot should be enough to finish him off. And oh dear me, we just lost the 45 TP. Will he pop out? It'd be an extremely bad move if the A44 did, but he's actually taking up a position to block our KB3 and Centurion. He is low on hit points though. Well, supposedly there's a Lurver up there and a King Time Capture, but they haven't actually moved forward because of our KB3 and our Centurion. But the KB3 has lost some hit points, which is not good. Okay, Chosen Dark and Giddy Lily have both decided to move up on this east side of the, the hill. And it's a good move because those guys up front could do with some fire support. And basically, these. The Scorpion is a self-propelled gun. It's not an arty, but it's using an arty gun. And it's a self-propelled gun in so far as it's not really truly a tank. The armor is only superficial. Okay, well, we've got some... The Scorpion G, uh, Chosen Dark just took some a hit from one of those enemy tanks. And another one, a big hit. And I think he's just been hit by that SU-130PM who's up on the plateau above the cap area. And just around the corner, she's got an E75 moving up. She can put a big hit into him. She was spotted, though. That's the problem. There he is. No, didn't get through. And she took a round from his gun. He's also using the 128mm because he's got 496 hit points off her. And now she's, well, she's still a two-shot. 
but she doesn't really want to get hit by that E75 anymore if she can help it. Best thing to do would be to pull back a bit further, go round with that Shiv 1030, and then catch this guy in a crossfire. Oh, the nervous moving up. Here we go. She puts one into him, a high roll for 527. She'll go through his hull like butter because it's uh, this shell would easily get through his armor. No problem at all. And, oh, well, I say that, but he angled his front plate and she took around 105 millimeter round, which penetrated her uh, fuel tanks. Must have been right through the sides there. Yeah, you can see where the hole is. It's on just above the tracks. Okay, she's trying to side scrape out. Remember, it's a panther hull, so really, even side scraping against a heavy tank is going to be, well, very dangerous. The Lurther pulls up and gets wiped out. Yep, he's got a lower plate, which is actually quite vulnerable. He was well angled the last time she fired at the lower plate, but he wasn't angled this time, and obviously her gun could get straight through that, no problem. Well, that E-75 is still behind this tower in a defensive position. The easy way to penetrate the E-75 armor would be to pull back and go around the houses and approach him from a different angle. And Chosen Dark is very low on hit points. He can stay nicely angled amongst those rocks. She's turning around so she can drive off somewhere else. The E-75's not in sight. Is she gonna go around and into the, the hill? I think she might be. If Chosen Stark stays where he is, he can block any E75 movement down the east side. Oh, she's communicating with him at the moment. And looks like he's coming down to join her. Or is he setting up a new firing position, defensive position? Okay, no, he's coming to join her now. He's turned around, and the enemy are losing tanks uh, on the plateau above their cap area. They've located where the SU-130PM is, they've located the AMX CDC, and they just took out a weapon trigger Alpha Panzer Fear. So now will be a good time to get into a position so you can start laying on fire, suppress those guys, and R50TP can finish them off from a different angle. Still that E-75 though to worry about. And, oh, he's going off for our strip. And this is not good. Now, if we go up this way, we've got to be careful to stay behind those rocks. In some ways, that SU-130PM can do a huge amount of damage to us. And there's the E-75. He's behind the house at the moment, so we can't. We've got no hit, uh, no shot. Oh, but he has been killed by the Striv. And that leads us now to this SU-130PM who's sitting on the ramp and now he's missing most of his hit points and the RT finishes him off that's good so we got the spotting chosen dogs popped up as well to try and get a hit but can't see the AMX CDC who's running away he's the last enemy alive and he's running south as quickly as he can so both of them are now headed to try and intercept him before he gets to the south end of the map. And he's headed this way. Is oh, this getting Lily gonna jump on him? She does! Oh and yes, that's a kill. Unfortunately, it's the 50 TP who gets the kill. And Giddy Lee gets some hit points of him. <laughs> that's a way to kill them. Let's have a look at the end of battle stats. And it's a third class tank of a Giddy Liddy in the Rhine Metal Scorpion. She managed to get a Fire for Effect and a Bruiser Medal out of that one. For getting at least five critical hits, she got five exactly. But no Epic Medals, I'm afraid. But she did pick up some hit points and a win eight for that game was 2004, which is very good. So let's have a look at the team score. Highest damage was that E75. You got 3,332 hit points of damage in that game. Uh, didn't pick up a high caliber though. The next highest scorer was the IS-3 with 2635. And after that, it was that strip 1030 with 2426. And we can see Giddy Lily came uh, after two members of the enemy team 
with 2018 hit points of damage and Chosen Dark with 913. When it came to kills, it was the Waffentrager of Panzerfear. He got five kills in that one, just one short of that Top Gun. Three kills each for the IS-3 and the Progetto. And then we can see Killer Lily only got one kill during the game. And unfortunately, Chosen Dark didn't get a single kill, but he did get some damage. And when it came to base XP, she's in third place. Yes, 986 for the IS-3. 820 for the M12 and then Giddy Lee comes in with 818 and Chosen Dark 531. She fired eight rounds in that game, got six direct hits, four penetrations, damage of 2018 hit points of which 1024 were at more than 300 meters. She received two hits, both were penetrations I'm afraid, yes, one from the uh, Lurther, the other one from the E75. Both positioned themselves very well actually initially, but then she got the better of that Lurther anyway, simply by virtue of the fact that the guy forgot to angle properly, and you do need to remember in a Lurther that your armor isn't that good. Unless you angle your lower plate, you are going to get penetrated there. Four enemy vehicles damaged, one killed, and 509 hit points of damage assist in that game. 73,787 credits. That's why this tank is so good. It really does generate a lot of credits if you can get the hits. After repair, ammunition, resupply, and consumables, she took away 43,157 credits. She earned 1,227 XP. Got 123 for this being a premium vehicle, took away 1,350 altogether. So not a bad little battle. Uh, yeah, the dive kill at the end, she was uh, just a little bit out timing wise, but she did get some damage off him right at the end. You can see that there, 134 hit points by landing on top of him. Unfortunately, the cliff dive was so strong, it did damage her and take her out of the game but it was a funny one so you might as well go for the laugh go for the comedy kill as i say uh, if you enjoyed that replay please give this video a like and do subscribe to our channel hit that notification button so you get alerted when the new video comes up and thank you for watching